Uh, hi there, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, <laughs> that's what the yes. setup that we did, and you can see it here. <laughs> we have, yeah, we have new logo for the channel. Uh, many thanks to Dimitri, our friend who helped us to design the logos, and I really love them all. We have multiple more short ones. Small one, <laughs> that I really and like. it's bigger one, yeah. and the yeah, eyes intermediate one. <laughs> I really love them all. So please uh, make sure to check out our store. I will pin I will pin it in the comment below, and uh, you may uh, yeah you may find something interesting that will suit yeah. you. And also this way you will support our channel and our innovation. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, like and subscribe. <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Uh, today we are going to. Demolish this wall. We will start from the ground floor. From our guest room. The first issue that we found. This wall was built later, and we have uh, we have noticed that it sits on a foundation and it's already loose, and we are not sure what the foundation. It doesn't look like a whole brick like here, like on this wall, but some rest of the bricks that are already coming out very easily. So we need to check and to dig it out and to make it, to strengthen it, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. We thought a lot about what what to do. Uh, should we try to fix it, try to uh, add more foundation here? But we decided just to demolish it and build the new one because it's a lot of uh, problem for this wall and it's not a structural wall, it's just a half brick wall. So yeah, I want to show what the problem. Uh, so no real uh, foundation for the wall. And also it start, yeah, a lot of cracks here, 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 so, and, yeah, here not, but also there are a few, few cracks on top, yeah, cracks here, and so, I think it's easier just to rebuild it from the scratch, so, Please enjoy more demolition work. They use reused bricks. It's like do you see with lime mortar on top? And yeah, where with lime mortar in, in that places bricks. Uh, we disconnect very well. And yeah, in that case reused stuff is Really nice. So it goes out without any cement mortar, just lime mortar.
And this is not bad, not bad for me, for us. Yeah, I'm doing that because after that it's quite easy to uh, take bricks from the wall. Just to detach it from each other. It's small bird and our inspector wanted to catch him to catch it and yeah right now do you see on the window inspector looking for the with bird I wonder why it's with wall not so nice. Yeah, they just put it on top of. Uh, oh, I forget English words. It's on the on the walls, just bricks and so on. So it's like. Really nice decision. Who is this? tile floor here and also uh, wallpapers and yeah as I can assume with wallpapers 70 years old or something like that
still quite heavy, but it's right now it's manageable. I can put it on wheelbarrow. So So let's take a break for the day and return back tomorrow, next day. Uh, when we started to demolish this uh, wall, I really hope, because I knew that there is a space below the, uh, the steps, and I really hope that there will be some hidden treasure. <laughs> Like, you know, like from childhood, like fairy tales, there is a secret room, but no, only mold, a bit of mold and... Um, and and all, all, all things. Did you show? Did you show? The old... Yeah, you can show. Paper. I'll show you closer, because Ilya sometimes forgets <laughs> to show. No, I told about this. Yeah? It's a nice part, hmm? Yeah. And more plaster that we would need to <laughs> to remove. And uh, I think it's more like 70 years old with uh, wallpapers. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, this wall and all this stuff was built after Second World War. Oh, so yeah. it's like nobody like opens it or see this place for 70 years. 70 years, yeah, true. So you can take it. It's like I, I will I will for our album. No. And now I will remove these terracotta tiles. Like and subscribe. So, yeah, today I'm going to replace just. Soil with sand and for the gravel a little bit just to prepare it for beton layer. Mm. Also, also I have really nice task to remove this old plaster and I'm not sure that I'm very happy about them but yeah we need to do that. Let's do.
two old you know handles and i don't know why it's like that strange construction Yeah, when you think, oh, okay, it's just five minutes and you're done. And reality is <laughs> really different. So in that place, they use bricks just to fill in, and yeah, fill in everything. And it's like, mm, and it's really hard to dig. Oh, come on. Why? Why like that? Uh. But on the bright side we have a lot of bricks. Old one and it's really nice brick. It's I know that it's really hard brick. Yeah, let's remove them. I'm removing all this brick. My idea is uh, because with groundwater uh, quite high here, in that case, this spot yeah, contains bricks and a lot of empty spaces, and all water can easily go to this spot. So, because water don't want to go into clay, yeah. It's clay can absorb water, but it's a little bit different. And here, it, like easy way to go and stay. And I think if I keep it like it is, yeah, the water from other parts and from the outside will go and stay here. Mm, I think it's better to fill it uh, to remove as much as possible of bricks and fill in with clay and. Yeah, it's with ground, it's clay. Yeah, this is my idea. Maybe I'm wrong. But Uh, you, we are tamping it down, but when you 
the more you tamp it down, it starts moving because it's a clay sole and it's like, I don't know, it's very wobbly. <laughs> I don't know how it's called. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know is it visible on camera or no, but it's yeah, really nice effect. Strange, I would say. Okay. And we were actually tamping it, tamping it down very good. <laughs> <laughs> Let me give you a short update about the current progress uh, that we have made so far and also about the slight, I would say not slight, but yeah, about the change in our plans. Um, it's very, very uh, common that when while you are renovating an old house, you are changing your plans um, on the go, I would say. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, we have completely removed the wall here and also we have prepared the floor. Uh, same as in the rest of the room uh, for the future, floor uh, insulation and concrete slab. And while removing the floor, we were thinking what we're going to use, uh, what bricks we're going to use to rebuild the wall, maybe the one that we have saved. But then an idea com came to our mind. And let me show you what uh, actually caused this change in the plans. A while ago, we were... Uh, uh, we bought uh, the old uh, wall anchors uh, and the lady also presented us an old window. Let me show you. It was such a nice and unexpected gift from the lady and I'm, I really like this window. It's old and you can see it needs to be restored. Uh, I put this window aside for the better times, but I think these times have uh, have come. Uh, what's the idea? Is? I really don't like that our staircase gonna be very narrow and uh, dark. And what I thought, and Ilya actually supported me in this idea, we gonna build here a staircase, and above the staircase we're gonna place the windows of all different shapes, old windows, like this one, and we will place all this window on top of the staircase, and this way it will let more light in into the staircase, but also will be a very nice decoration element, a lot of decoration elements actually. So that's the idea, and also we don't to lose all this space below there, below their staircase, and we're gonna use it uh, as a wardrobe and also the shelves for clothing and whatever so so that's what we're gonna do uh, let me know where, whether you like this idea and whether it will work actually as we uh, think 